I just woke up, so my nose is really stuffy, so I apologize. Good morning and welcome to Bulletproof Art. If you don't already know me, my name is Sam and I am addicted to bullet journaling. And today's video is a most special video because it is October. Oh yeah! If you haven't already, go ahead and hit that shiny red button down below so that you can be notified of any time that I post a new video. There's also a little bell thing down there that you can click that um, I heard from the grapevine. It notifies you faster or something. I don't really know how that works, but if you want to click that, go ahead and click that too because it's another clicky button that clicks and I like clicking clicky buttons. So do that. Stick to the end because my mood tracker is going to blow your mind. And I also put a little mini tutorial in there to show you how to do it because I thought ahead this time. I also did this thing. I opened a Patreon. Uh, you don't have to use it if you don't want. Like, I'm not like, you have to go click my button and support my page, blah, blah, blah. No, definitely not. You can do that if you want to. But it's open. You can go to my Patreon page, which I'll put here. And I'll also link it down in the description. And it will also be on the end screen page. But basically, it's just there to show your support for my page and to help me continue creating content. Eventually, I need to get new camera equipment. I'm using my phone right now as my filming device and it's starting to get a little uh, little difficult to use because a little pop-up comes up that says that I'm running out of storage and I'm like, <sighs> about to throw you out the window and then you ain't gonna have no storage. But that's okay, that's okay. We'll get through this. But yeah, if you want to head over to the Patreon page and support my channel, there's a few goodies in it for you. But without further ado, let's get to it. That's spooky up in here. But before we start, I'm going to do a quick September flip through. If I can uh, get this page open. I had a lot of fun doing September, um, it was very calming, I finally got out of a situation that I was in and I am now in a calm environment so I was able to make this calm spread and I started incorporating my scrapbooking back into my bullet journal as you can see here there's a bunch of different pattern paper and stickers and stuff. And I started using mini trackers as well. If you watched my last video, I talked a little bit about the mini trackers. And I really enjoy using the mini trackers. But now it's time to get started. And my front cover is nothing but paper and washi tape. And it was a lot of fun. By the way, if you don't watch my videos, uh, you'll notice that some of the paper is burned around the edges, and I do that to most of the paper that I put into my journal just because I like the aesthetic of it. So that's like my little signature thing that I do before I scrapbook stuff, is I like to burn it because I like lighting things on fire. I could possibly be a pyromaniac, but probably not. Because I've never really burned anything but paper and grass, I guess. Okay, so this part of the video got cut out, but I have this new little fancy tool thing that I used that I'm going to do a review on in the next couple of weeks, so be on the lookout for that. The spread that I am doing now, my monthly calendar, um, the little headers, I have two different washi tapes. I have a Halloween washi tape and then I have a washi tape that I got off of Wish that has the days of the week on it and I put the days of the week washi tape over the Halloween washi tape and then I took a green marker and just made it green to match other stuff because green was one of the colors I was using. And then I have some scrapbook elements in there like the little ghosties and I'm doing drop shadows. And I also found these cute little holographic stickers 
at the dollar store for a dollar and they're adorable and I couldn't decide how to get them to put how to put them on the page so here I am rearranging them you just be careful with putting your stickers down because sometimes they're really hard to get up After that, I do my faux calligraphy of October I'm using a black paper mate flare pen first, and then I fill in with the black Crayola super tip, and then I take an orange paper mate flare and do like a shadow to it. I guess is what's that what what that word is called for that. After I finish that up, I switch back to my orange Crayola Super Tip and put little circles in the corner of each of the boxes so that I can put the days of the week or the numbers of the days of the week inside those little boxes. And that is that page. Now I'm working on my mental health trackers. This is like my sleep tracker and my anxiety tracker and my motivation tracker. Those are the three that I stuck with that I uh, found helpful from the last month. And my mood tracker this month is amazing and I'm super excited about it. I really hope that you enjoy it. I did a little uh, mini tutorial thing which is gonna pop up here after I finish this page that I'm working on. So stay tuned for that. Don't, don't go anywhere. I used these scrap pumpkin papers as headers for my trackers. So with my Papermate Flare, I wrote sleep, anxiety, and motivation. And then I filled in the faux calligraphy part with my black Crayola Super Tip. And then I used my jelly roll to add highlights to make it stand out more. Alright, I'm about to zoom through this next page really fast, but before I do, I'm going to show you what exactly I'm doing. So I'm starting with like a circle or a pumpkin shape, and then I do this little oval thing in the middle, and then I draw lines from the inside of that oval to the outside of the other lines and then you add the little triangle stem on top. And then if you want to add more, then you just kind of add them around the background and start with the little oval thing and then connect the oval to the outside lines. And then when you go in with your color, you just outline those pencil marks of where you want the bumps of the pumpkin to be. And then when you fill them in, try to keep your strokes going in the same direction. And don't be afraid to go over one area a couple times to make it a little darker and give it a little contrast. Now I'm taking a brown paper mate flare and kind of just going back over those the pencil lines again, but I'm also adding a few extra lines and I'm leaving some of the lines unconnected from the top and bottom and some of them are still connected and then I add the stem in as well. After I finish adding the details to the pumpkin um, I go in with a brown Crayola super tip and fill in the stems of the pumpkin and then you can go back through with a white jelly roll. I didn't have mine around, so I didn't do that um, and add some highlights to the pumpkin. And then I also added this shadow. I didn't do that in my journal, but now that I am seeing me doing this, I kind of want to go do it. And then here I'm just adding one of the faces because that's what I'm going to be using it for. And that is how it is done. And now let's watch it in super fast mode. Here I'm using the journal guide again, and I'm super excited that I actually have footage of this. Um, 
I'm gonna do a review on this. It's pretty awesome. I've been using it a lot lately, like, for pretty much everything. Um, I use the corner because the corner makes rounded edges. I'm putting different types of moods and face ideas for those moods in these boxes and I have been mixing and matching based on my mood because my mood changes a lot throughout the day so it, I, it's working really well. I'm going to be really excited to f share the filled in version at the end of the month with you. But that brings us to the end of this video. There's a few extra added things on this page that I didn't film, but there's that. Uh, thank you for watching. If you enjoyed it, give it a thumbs up. Uh, there's a poll in the corner. Do you like candy corn, yes or no? Don't be afraid to hit that subscribe button and click the bell to be notified of when I post again. Have a great day. Stay creative. Goodbye.